All right, boys, welcome back to another video. And today, let's talk about unique troops in Bannerlord. So let's do a quick rundown. I'm going to give you uh, all the unique troops in Bannerlord in terms of like their troop uh, tree line. Uh, I'm going to give you to you for each single kingdom. I'm going to tell you why they're important and where to find them. Okay, so let's get right into it. So first, um, in Bannerlord, there's two types of um, troops. I right, will troop lines for uh, every single kingdom. Uh, let me just... Uh, yeah, so let me go back to tiers right over here. So first you have the recruits. Every single uh, kingdom has their own version of recruits. The Kazates have the Nomad. Still, they start at tier one and they go all the way to tier five. And they have a lot of branching uh, different troops that you can branch into, okay? So a lot of choices. Now, the unique on the other hand, for the unique, by the way, the Azurai, it's the Azurai youth. They start at tier two and they go to tier six. And these guys usually don't branch off at all. It is a straight line down. Now, why are they better? Well, obviously, every single tier you go, it, the unit gets better in terms of the skills. And, you know, better skills, better armor, better weapons. And to be honest with you, tier 6 units are you know, pretty much as close as you can get to, to as an unstoppable unit, as like the main character. You know what I mean? If you have a, if you have a huge army with a lot of tier 6 units, you won't fail. Now, why is it important to have tier 6 units? Well, if we go over here on the um, pretty much all the troops, as you can see, uh, the unique units that go to tier 6 are the only tier 6 units in the game that you can play. Uh, there are the conspiracy commanders, but you, that's only if you go down the storyline and um, you get some of them as prisoners. But I also think that, if I'm not mistaken, tier 6, you can't even really convert. Or maybe you can, but it's such a small chance. It's just not... Um, What's the best word? It's not consistent uh, in terms of how much troops you can get. But the unique units, um, as you can see right like these guys, you can get a lot of them. And I'm going to show you exactly how and I'm going to show you exactly where they're located. But first, let's go down uh, the row for all of the unique guys, okay? So let's start off with um, pretty much Azurai, okay? So the Azurai, uh, the unique troops start as the Azurai youth right over here. And they can go all the way up to the Azurai Vanguard Ferris. So there you go. There's the skills for that guy. There's the skills for that guy. Next, we have, let's go back over here, Batanians. Uh, they start off as the Batanian Highborn Youth, right over here. And they go all the way up to Tier 6, Batanian Fion Champion. One of the best archers in the game. Next, for the uh, Empire, you have the Imperial Vilga Recruit, right over here. And they can go all the way up to an Imperial uh, Elite Cataphract, one of the best uh, cavalry in the game. Next we have is the Kazates. They start off as the Kazate Noble Son. And they make their way all the way to the Kazates Khan Guard. Uh, this, this is one of the best horse archers in the game. And by the way, the Azurai, uh, unfortunately, they're not the best... Uh, they're pretty close to the um, the Empire guys, but the Empire uh, cavalry is just a little bit better than these guys. But these guys aren't bad as well. Um, next we have uh, is the Sturgeons. They start off as the Sturgeon Otrok. And then they end as the Sturgeon Druznik Champion. And there it is. Again, falling a little bit behind the uh, Empire. And then lastly, we have is the Vlandians. They start as the Vlandian Squire. And they end as the Vlandian Banner Knight. These guys are actually pretty close to the Empire as well. So that's pretty much all the unique troop tree lines right over here. And again, if you ever forget them, go to your encyclopedia. Click right here to enter the tier. Go to tier 6. And these are the main guys right over here. Obviously, the Conspiracy Commanders are not people that you can really get. But the rest of these are... You know what I mean? The troop tree lines. Now, um, why they're important, it should be kind of obvious um, that it, they're one of the strongest units in the game for any um, for any uh, kingdom that you choose. Again, if you have a lot of these, you're going to do very, very well. Uh, especially my top favorite picks, before I was going for it, these are the best archers, Batanian Fine Champions. These are aim bots right over here. Um, Next, uh, I would say the Kazait Khan Guard are a close second. They're aim bots, but on a horse. And they actually do a lot of damage with this uh, pole arm. A lot of damage. 
And then uh, my third choice would be the, um, where is it? The Imperial uh, Cataphracts. These guys are tanks. These are as tanky as you can get in terms of units. And they're on a horse, so a lot of charge damage. So those are my top three. Now, now that we've gone over all the troop, uh, what's it called, troop lines, how do you get them? Well, it's very simple. So, um, to get them, you need to visit uh, villages. They are never in towns. You are never going to find them in towns. You have to vis visit villages that are bound to castles. What does bound to castles mean? If you scroll over to any castle, if you go into under the information, all the way down, you see bound villages. And then you have the villages names. Um, so this was done, I forgot exactly what patch, but um, the devs wanted to give castles kind of like some kind of advantage over um, towns because towns already have so many so many advantages. Obviously, you have the tavern, all the stuff that you can do in towns, not much stuff you can do in castles. So they decided to give the advantage to castles to where um, town, I mean, not towns, villages that are bound to castles will produce the unique uh, the unique troops, okay? So if we go to any of these right over here, this is one of them. We go to recruits. Oh, they're completely out. Well, that sucks to see. Let's see if these guys aren't completely out. Might be completely out too. As you can see, we found the unique guys. You will always still have maybe one or two, um, usually one, that will still sell the regular recruits. But as you can see, two of them are selling the unique troop tree line. All right, and now if we go to um, let's say, let's just go to a couple of villages that are bound to um, a town, and I'm going to show you exactly that they don't have these troops, and they might sometimes some it's it's very rare, but they it's 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 almost impossible to find them. As you can see right over here, it's not the same guys. This these guys come from the nomads, which are the recruits, and again. All these guys come from the Nomads, which are the recruit uh, version of the uh, Kazates. Let's go to all the towns. We got this one is also a part of them. Again, all these guys, not it. Now, where's the last one? Just to prove my point. Uh, they also have... Mazan, where's Mazan? Wait, no, Mazan, that, and... For some reason, that's the village that's connected to this, which is kind of weird. But let's go to this village as well. Recruits, again, all nomads. Now, if we go to Tepes Castle, uh, we it, it's part of the bound villages are Tepes and Kuraluk. So let's go to Tepes and see if we can find the unique troops. Boom. Unique troops right over there. And two of them are selling unique troops and one of them is selling the nomads. And now if we go to the other one that's connected to the castle, that's bound to the castle. Boom. We found it yet again. So again, uh, all the unique troops, wherever you are on the map, if you want the Kazate ones, you have to go to the Kazate side, obviously. If you want the Sturgeon ones, you have to go to the Sturgeon side. And you have to make sure it is a, a village that is bound to a castle, not to a town. Towns sell the regular recruits and villages bound to the towns will sell the regular recruits. Um, I have seen sometimes you might get like the really lucky one-off opportunity, but it's if you're looking for consistency... It's always the villages bound to the castles. But that will pretty much do it for me. Uh, hopefully this was informative, and I'll see you in the next one.